guys, my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. My, my mum said that she was going to call me about quarter past nine. Alexa, what's the time, please? The time is 9.35 a.m. My mum is ringing me from Dowell Gardens in Chatham. I'm now going to ring my mother from Corey's Road in Rochester. Here we go. sat on the toilet I used to um I had a safe box a blue police safe box in one of these domestic violence safe houses and um, whenever I had any trouble um the police said that, that that I could get through to them and they would come out immediately and uh, I'd be sitting on the lavatory and uh, the police officer rang me while I was on the toilet and said did you call us and I said, no. He said, well, oh, sorry. It must have been a false call. Um, the, your, your box um, alerted us. And I said, no, 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 I'm okay. I was actually sat on the toilet. I used to get a lot of phone calls in Gloucestershire while I was sat on the loo. Just reminded me of that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not in a very good mood. Um, I started feeling depressed yesterday when I saw that bloke again. Um, I'm just going to try and um, keep calm, keep going through what I go through, but um, it is fictitional. It is all made up and I don't believe my doctors are real. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but when you look at the surnames, and if you actually looked into their qualifications, you would find out that they're not what they seem to be. But I haven't got the time or the money to get solicitors to go through all these people that are supposed to be treating me medically for their qualifications. I don't believe they're doctors at all, which is dangerous. Um, the lady that took this blood last night when I was trying to write my diary... My arm cramped up and I could hardly write. So they, they, these people are scared of the truth coming out, right? And of course if something happens to my right arm, I'm not going to be able to write in my diary, am I? Because I'm not left-handed, I'm right-handed. 
So she didn't ask me what arm I wanted the blood taken from. She just took my right arm. And that was deep and painful. And apparently there's nothing wrong apart from a bit of high cholesterol, which is dangerous if not treated and kept under control. But they want to see me in, in a year's time, like this lump in my neck, uh, to keep an eye on it and you know there have been cases where surgeons have been bogus a night before an operation they've actually read a textbook of, of how to perform an operation and that's not lying either there's been bogus paramedics bogus police officers police officers that have abducted women I mean, this does go on, but you wouldn't believe it if it happens to you. The, the, the evil shit that's gone on in my life since I was a little girl. Honestly, we had a social worker called Mr. Beer who had a wooden leg. A wooden leg. And he tried to lure me in his car. I was 12 years old and I was sensible and I said no. My mum said to me, he's a social worker, you can get into his car. I said, no mum, I'm not getting into his car. No. He looked like um, an old bearded fisherman and he had a stump. One of his legs was a stump. Like a wooden stump. And he was trying to get me into his car and I said, no. I don't want to get into his car. I'm 54 now and these taxi drivers, the one had a broken wind mirror, smashed. If you can't see out your wind mirror, it's fucking dangerous. No one gives a flying fuck. I have to look after myself. If I think a car isn't safe, I don't get in it. If I trust my instincts, that Charlie is not what he seems, right? He goes up to people, he talks, but there's a sinister side. I can feel it. Because his girlfriend said he's dangerous and when someone says to me he's dangerous then he must have done something to her for him to think he's dangerous so I stay away from him. And, and again, I mean, nothing actually sexual happens. Well, I think sticking your tongue down someone's throat is a bit extreme. Police won't do anything. I reported my dad over a number of years, and they'd cut the police. At this bogus police would come out. What can we? What, what do you want us to do? What, well, I don't know what. what uh, you're a police officer. You should know what to do. Haven't you got a code of conduct? You've got an oath that you read to protect the public and serve them. Don't, shouldn't you? Shouldn't a police officer know what they're doing? Asking me what I what I want them to do. I'm not a police officer. And they actually walk out, leave the perpetrator who's sexually assaulted you, physically assaulted you, and leave you in danger because the perpetrator gets more angry because you've called the fucking police. And the police have then put my life in danger because they've left the perpetrator in the same home as me and they get irate and angry and are the police hoping that, that the perpetrator will kill you and who's telling the police to do this they're not police they're not doing their job properly I see more police in the co-op than I do going up and down the street I mean it's ridiculous I'm five foot five and I've got to defend myself. See you later.